Okay, today's sponsor is Via Hemp. These guys have been around with us for a long time. Uh, we're stoked to show you guys something brand new. They have some THCA flour that can be shipped discreetly to your door. Via sells nationwide, ships straight to your door. Their flour is legal and ships straight to you in a very low-key packaging. No med card needed. They also offer a crazy range of flour gummies with various blends of natural ingredients. With these guys, you can get quality for an amazing price. If you're 21 and over, go to viahemp.com, use code TMS, and get code get 15% off plus a free pack of their killer THC gummies. Okay, guys, so this one is brought to you by Riz Pharma. Riz Pharma is dedicated to making prescription medications affordable for everyone, particularly targeting the uninsured and the underinsured populations. Their program aims to alleviate the financial burden of medical costs by offering over 800 plus generic medications for free or at a very low cost, utilizing strategic partnership and bulk buying power. The program covers a wide range of medication services, including acute and maintenance medications, over the counter drug, diabetes supplies, and medications of pharmacy coaching. This comprehensive approach addresses various health needs from chronic conditions to everyday requirements. Process is easy, involving searching their list of medications, consulting with a pharmacy coaches, transferring prescriptions and receiving medications delivered directly to the home for free. This ease of access is a significant advantage for users. So check it out, guys. The link will be in the bio, and that is uh, Riz Pharma. The John guy is just a great guy looking to help out, has a great business, and helps out a lot of people. So check it out, Riz Pharma. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are. Uh, it's Sunday here, and UFC 299 is in the books. And uh, how you feeling? We're forty thousand feet in the air. I slept for about twenty minutes, and I feel great, man. I won. <laughs> uh, let's just let's just start from the beginning of the week. We got to Miami Sunday, and it was like a eerily, eerie. Lee, yeah, uh, smooth week, and those kind of weeks scare me a little bit. I'm like, everything's too perfect, we're too dialed. It, it yeah, made me a little nervous. Yeah, and it's weird when it does. I mean, Boston was kind of like that too, but I had that injury, so that was always lingering. But other than that, I mean, just fight weeks, we got them so dialed in with just everyone that's there has our new role. Sono came with us this time, made a huge difference having him run around, do shit. That was clutch, but uh. We just got fight weeks down from the weight cut to chilling to eating to everything. We just got that shit down. Yeah, we really do. And uh, we stayed at this, like, condo that was pretty cool, this three-bedroom condo. And uh, that made it nice, having our own rooms, having our own kitchen, had our own living room, being able to cut weight in the hotel. Yeah, Kyle and the Nelk boys, they have uh, one of those portable hot tubs. They let us bring it up to the room, throw it on the balcony, cut weight in the fucking room. That shit was another huge clutch. Uh, Miami overall, fucking 10 out of 10, brother. Yeah, the amount of, I mean, cheeks and... Uh, Dangerous. It really was. It really was. Yeah. So that's why it's like... Even going to, like, some scrubby grocery store, I'm like, what the fuck? They're all just foreign princesses. Yeah. Literally. Um... Other than that, did a lot of media. Did uh, oh. the Patrick Bet David podcast. That was pretty cool. That was seeing fun. He's like has this crazy studio with tons of employees. Like it's in an old Chase Bank, so their podcast studio is literally in a vault. Like a, their doors a vault. It was fucking sick. And that combo was pretty good with you guys. And then uh, the Wednesday, you, you, the amount of media you had to do was absolutely insane. Yeah, that was the most exhausted I've ever been for media. It was probably like six, seven hours of just. I, I was. I usually don't get too frustrated and like. I, I feel like I played it off fine, but I was so annoyed of the literal same questions. It's like, let, sit me in a room. Everyone can ask their questions. Then if you hear your question get asked, don't fucking ask it, buddy. Yeah, it's weird. They literally bring you to one room bring you to the next room and ask a lot of the exact same questions. You're low on calories. That night you were so zapped. Your energy was so zapped. Didn't even want to work out. Oh. Ended up forcing a workout. And uh, that was good. Yeah. 
Oh, oh. Well, usually we would try to stay up really late because we didn't even go to the arena until 9.30. The fight wasn't even until, I think, 12.30. Yeah, like 12.45. 12.45-ish when the fight actually started. That's probably when we walked-ish. Like, yeah, that was crazy. I figured, because last fight, Al, uh, the Aldro Boston one, I was like doing this thing 10 days out where I was changing my sleep schedule, trying to adjust to it. But I was like, eh, I didn't really feel like that did anything. I can just take... I literally slept three different times Saturday. Woke up in the morning, ate, slept for another couple hours, ate, slept for another couple hours. It was fucking nice. You said, uh, well, we'll start with the weight cut uh, this time. But uh, we did the, yeah, did the weight cut in the hotel. That was actually super nice. Had all the towels on the couch, had that extra hot tub, um, did some 15-minute sessions. I think, were you 40, when you started the night before, you were around 46-ish, 10 over. Yeah. 10 over, lost about six, seven, lost the rest in the morning, and uh, that went smooth. First on the scales, or Dustin was before you, right? Yeah, Dustin was. What was the, I didn't see it, but I heard it, so, a few people say Cheeto looked like he might have had his elbow on a, on the towel or some shit. He weighed in naked. Well, it looked like he kind of just spread his elbows out, so maybe that took like an ounce off him. I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I won. <laughs> Felt good. Got that one back, boys. I've been saying it for three and a half years. That one didn't count. Should have never counted. It was bullshit. It was a fluke. And then I went out there and 40, 20, and ate him. So it's like, uh, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, we can all agree on that. That's nice. Yeah, and and all the people that are like, man, he's going to gas out in, in, in five rounds. He's going to gas out. Literally put the pace on him and actually just broke him. Physically broke down his body. Stayed at range the whole time. Or was making him guess the whole time. He couldn't set up any of his his KO shots that he set up on these other guys. It almost like it made him look. You made him look bad. You made him look very tough, like he has a lot of heart, but on another level, skill wise, speed wise, everything. And it's exactly what we knew. Yeah, people are saying it's the Moutinho 2.0. Uh, so that's good. It was so weird. And I was telling you this the other day. I never told anyone that when I was leading up to fight week in the fighter hotel. It was the COVID hotel. I was reading the Striking Thoughts book, the Bruce Lee one. And I read this thing that made me, it was some, I don't know if it was like about losing or about something about, some, it was something that gave me a weird feeling that I've never had going into a fight. I didn't say anything to anyone because I was like, yeah, I was like, all right, that's not true. But I had a weird feeling and then I go into that fight and lose the way I did. I was like, what the fuck? That was so weird. But then this fight, just felt so fucking confident that everything just was going to go fucking so perfect. Yeah, and even, I mean, you're up up four rounds to O on the guy, and you're still, you could have you could have very easily, like, I didn't want to give him any chance at winning. You could have yeah. very easily bounced around, thrown a few punches in that fifth round, uh, but you sat there and traded with him and kept, and kept trying to put it on him, and that's really the reason you got hit with that little liver shot at the end. Ow! Yeah, I wanted to fucking put his lights out. It still doesn't feel, feels very satisfying, don't get me wrong, but nothing like finishing someone, fuck putting their lights out. You know, th there's just nothing like that. So I was really to the end trying to put his lights out. And uh, yeah. That, what did it feel like? What did it feel like when that knee landed on his face? It, it was, I actually felt gross. I'm like, I, I instantly thought it broke it, it shattered his nose. I told you that in the, going yeah. into the second round. I said, I think I broke his nose. But I'll, I think it was his orbital. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything other than he went straight to the hospital, no media. Um, yeah, that's. I'm sure he's feeling pretty fucked up right now. Yeah, other than that, I was talking about earlier, we have our routines at home, our sleep, everything so perfect. And then we come on fight week and it gets all messed up. It's a new bed. There's there's different noises. You don't we don't have our cold and our hot plunge and it gets thrown off. But uh We just got our own fight week dialed though. Fight week schedule routines, it's fucking just stro dialed. Uh who's next for Cheeto? I was thinking it would be fun. Maybe Cheeto versus Henry could be sweet. Peter Yawn called out Cheeto. Um uh, Cheeto Aljo would have been an interesting fight if Aljo stayed at thirty five. Um Ori just recently called out Umar. Um, yeah, some big fights. Who who does Peter Yan fight next? Uh, if he didn't fight Cheeto, he called out Cheeto. But I I, I, mean, I, I saw I saw Corey versus Umar. 
I mean, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Cheeto versus Peter, not Cheeto versus Henry. I don't. I, I think they got to give someone. They got to give Henry someone else. Have him have a twenty five or bump up, buddy. I'm not. You're being mean. I'm not meaning to be. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, no, but uh, but so it's just always funny because uh, Henry said bet the house on Cheeto. He said so. bet the house on Peter. Bet the house on Aljo. <laughs> bet the house on Cheeto. He's a He's a he's an angry little man that hates my success, buddy. Yeah, Peter's an angry little man too. I think he was trying to start a little dust up backstage because uh, he thought that'd be good for promotion stuff. But I what was to, he saying? Because I wasn't back there. I'd have to rewatch watch the fight with him and uh, Song Yudong. But when we were back there, we were halfway watching it, and it, I thought uh, Song Yudong won. But have to rewatch it. But he was. I went to shake his hand on the way back. He's like, "No, where's where's your boy? Where's your boy?" And I, I, I said, you barely won that fight. Yeah. You uh, barely won that fight. And if that, I said, if that Peter would have showed up against Sugar, you'd be dead. And then his coach just said, coach versus coach. <laughs> well, does his coach fight? I don't know. He didn't look like it. He looked uh, so uh, Um, And then they're trying to just have a little dust up. And then, uh, yeah, well, that was the first time backstage. It's like, got to watch it a little bit. Everyone, yeah. You're such a big star now. Everyone wants to create some drama and, and oh, yeah. get a piece of it. Damn, it's just so fucking crazy how everything's played out. That's wild. Uh, I didn't really watch much of the fights backstage. I kind of just laid in the back, chillaxed. Uh, Gilbert Burns damn near won, I guess, and got kneed in the fucking end. Gilbert's just such a good dude, family dude, Team Sanibel, Emron's guy, our buddy. And for him to get fucking knocked out like that sucks. But I, He was doing so good the whole time. And then that Jack, dude, props to that Jack kid. Yeah. That JDM, he was in our uh, locker room. And he just did a good job at, at getting up, fighting the hands, not sitting on bottom too long. Um. Other than that. Michael Venna Page debut versus Kevin Holland. I didn't watch too much of that. You said Michael Venna Page was warming up like crazy, like hard, hard, hard in the back. And not not really hard. It was interesting how they were warming up. Like it was, it, they probably warmed up for a good hour, and it was really him sp- bouncing his karate taekwondo stance and just lunging in with the right hand, bouncing, bouncing, lunging in with the elbow, like yelling and exploding. Wow. I heard like him in hour. the back because I was laying down in the back. I was like, "What the fuck's going on back there or up there?" But he's a springy kid. He was doing some things on on, on the guy. I was I wanted to ask him about once I saw him, but I was like. Uh, I forgot right to. Time. Yeah, but he's a scary dude, that guy. And then, uh, we, we was, oh, yeah, J- Dustin Poirier fought for three guillotines. I'm like, fuck. Ends up knocking out the, uh, what the fuck? Benoit Saint BDS or BSD. Benoit Saint Denise, BSD, right? It seems like you always just forget how badass Dustin Poirier is. Yeah, you just can't count him, count him out. That was a dangerous fight for him to take. I was surprised he took the fight a little bit. Not, not just because the guy's so dangerous and not very known. It wasn't ranked very high, I don't think. Just a dangerous fight for him to take. Well, dude, especially Dustin, didn't. he's not coming out there, paced himself for five rounds. He threw caution to the wind and just made it a sprint and just saw who'd give up and break first. Well, I um, think he just had to match his pace because that dude came out firing. So you got to match that. Yeah, I'd have to. I want to rewatch that one again also. Um, what else? Uh, did RDA win? RDA got beat by Gamrod, I believe. Really? I can't believe that was on the prelims. He was getting taken down. I, I, did, I thought uh, Dos Anjos was going to be able to stuff his takedowns. I, I picked that on my uh, prize. How thing. old is he? He's getting up there. That Gamrod looks just so strong and just looks such an animal. Uh, even Habib said Gamrod would be the toughest fight for Islam. Really? Damn. Yeah. Uh, what else we have? Kyler Phillips beat Pedro Munoz. I didn't get to watch that. You said it was a beautiful performance. Kyler was just staying way more busier than him. Uh, it just got getting started first, being so like sneaky with his kicks. He, Kyler looked very, very good, especially some against someone like Pedro. Who's yeah, vet. I remember when Pedro knocked out Cody San, uh, Garbrandt. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, big right hand. UFC 300's next. That's still not for a few weeks. That'll be kind of fun to start talking about. We're going to be going to Great Falls in a couple weeks, right? Yeah, I have four guys fighting in Great Falls, Montana. That'll be a fun little trip. Other than that, I mean, I don't have anything planned. I have zero desire to do anything other than kind of just get home, fucking heal up, play some Call of Duty. 
get back to work. Get back to work. Uh, I don't think I have any serious injuries. My foot's a little swollen. My hands are a little beat up. But uh, I don't think I have really see any serious injuries. So that's nice. Was there any, like, the whole week or anything? Because you're one of the best I ever, ever see. Like, you have so much pressure. The media and everyone pushed this fight so much. You couldn't open up any app yeah. without seeing it. You open up the, the hotel TV app and it's of you and YouTube. It's of you. It's just like so much stuff. And you just so good at somehow just shutting it off. Yeah. I feel like I obviously think about it n multiple times throughout the day, but for very little time, uh, I just watched, I watched a bunch of stand up comedy. We watched some Jim Carrey stuff. I ended up watching a bunch more of uh random comedy comedians. Watch kill Tony, Chris Farley, watch this, dumb show like New York Nine Nine or no what is that Brooklyn Nine Nine or some stupid show on Netflix. I binge watched that for a while. But completely not thinking about the fight. And then when I do like my twenty minute nap meditations, kind of play around with the ideas of what I want. All week I was thinking like I wanna make it look like I'm in like if you're watching it that I'm in fast motion and he's in slow mo. That's what I kinda of was thinking about all week and then rewatching the fight I was like, God, that's literally what it looks like. Yeah, I mean dude that that kind of that kind of pressure and that kind of stuff that just kills people's brains and their anxiety just thinking about what if what's going to happen the fear of the unknown fucking zaps people i told him too i way as i said your worst nightmare is about to come true i feel like i was just in his head a little bit talking about that 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 what i messaged him on instagram i never ended up saying what it was and i probably never will i already rent, ended his career so Oh, I don't need to go into that, but uh, I feel like I was just in his head all week, and he didn't like it, and he was trying to just stay, like, that fucking tough, just, like, but I felt like I was in his head. Yeah, Um. and then after the fights, did the media and stuff, and literally still had Cheeto's blood on your legs, still in your fight kit, went straight to the club, 11. Yeah, I, I had to make it for the club. Uh, Russ was performing. I was fucking super pumped. 11 got that. Got that to happen, uh, so that was that was really cool. Only played like three or four songs, and then he was done. Uh, so we dipped right after that. I had two shots, one was with Joey B, and then one was with Russ. I was like, "Fuck!" I didn't want to didn't want to have shots, but felt like I had to with those guys, and uh, had a like half a happy dad. But yeah, it wasn't. I was so fucking sore. I was like, I shouldn't be just inflaming my body more. So definitely feel like I'm maturing a little bit, man. Dude. 4 a.m. and it seemed like the club's just picking up. Yeah, that's wild, dude. 24 year old me would have been blacked out. Oh, dude, you might have died. I might have. Yeah, I might have died that night. But uh, Aiden Ross was there. Aiden said he. Uh, I went live with him on Zoo on a uh, kick on like Friday night or whatever it was, and he said I got you a gift. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, uh, and then. Uh, I'll give it to you later. I didn't. I seen him at the club. Some vaporized herb, for you guys who don't know it, it's dry herb, some of the finest cannabis, and it's vaporized. Okay. So I seen him at the club. Us. He said he's gonna gift me an AP. I know that's crazy, right? Um, and then he also told me, get this, he said he's gonna bet a lot of money on me, and he was gonna make a lot of money on me, and if I won, he was gonna buy me a car. So I don't know how true that is, but I bet he will. I mean, well, one, that's fucking absolutely insane to get by someone a car. I think oh. that's wild, but we'll see. Steve will do it. He got off a call with him. He said he was down bad. Yeah, he said he wagered around seven hundred thousand dollars on the fights, and he broke even after I won. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder. So betters just must love that, like the angst of like. Uh, oh, and then, oh and then I don't arm. get it. I do not have that gene. Like, I don't get that shit. He has it bad, and he's young. Yeah, with that kind of bread, it's like... Uh, Sean Shelby was at the club. He said, what's up, Dude, Sean? That was fire. Mick Maynard, too. Mick Maynard, Nate Diaz. Yep. Bradley Martin, Aiden, my boy Air Cool. Met my buddy Sir Gimme, the kid I've been streaming with. He lives in Canada, so he flew down just to go to the after party. Uh, met him. Russ was obviously there. Joe Burrow, Nick Bosa. I think I'm saying, yeah, Nick it Bosa. It was really weird just chilling with Russ like that. 
And Russ, like, cool that's fucker. crazy. Just for how long we've been listening to it. I know. Well, you especially. Fuck. I, yeah. I, that was badass. But, uh, holy shit. I hear we did it again. Got another belt. They gave me another replica belt. It's pretty fire. I'm going to add. I don't know what. So they must add the ruby. I don't know how they do that to the real belt. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder how they do that. Also, be fire. Uh, what's next? I mean, there's Mrabs an option, Alia is an option. Dana didn't say no to it. He said, "I don't like that." What well, we'll talk Tuesday, in the fighter meeting. But so one of those two will be next. Whatever it is, it'll be big. Uh, that was one of the biggest pay per views. I forget if it, it was one of the biggest grossing gates in Miami, or it was the most biggest gate or something. It was like the top four biggest pay per view that Connor wasn't on, or something like that, right? That's the UFC lady to- told me. Some people told Imran too. So, damn, that would be crazy. I'm so curious. Obviously, first time getting pay per view. How that sh- how that right? looks like? I know what it. If, uh, yeah, I just wonder how many they did. That's yeah, fucking that's insane, wild. dude. It's gotta be an insane amount. It- like pushing a million. Like seven, I wonder seven hundred, seven fifty. Who knows? Eight hundred. I don't know. Yeah. With uh, that uh, fight card, you look at that card and it's like it was stacked. I'm so curious what it's gonna do comparatively to three hundred. Yeah. Better, worse? I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah. What else? What else? What else? God, it's so weird laying in bed Saturday like seven p.m. Just waiting because we leave the lobby at nine thirty. So I'm just laying in bed thinking like, in twenty four hours. At 7 p.m., I'm going to be doing the same thing in my bed in Arizona. <laughs> it's all done. The fight, whatever happens, happens. I'm just home with my fucking chickens. Like, it's such a weird time. So weird, especially on those fight weeks because because you're starving. Well, I'm home with her. I mean, I'm already here. Um, Yeah, fight weeks are the time so weird because Monday I'm like not that hungry. But I am Tuesday, a little bit worse. Wednesday, a little bit worse. Time just almost goes slower each day that gets closer. You didn't fucking bitch one bit about that weight cut. Like oh. one bit. You toughed it out and you could tell you were in some serious, serious pain. We did good. It didn't have to talk. You didn't have to walk a long way. Yeah, I know. Um, those weight cuts, people have zero fucking clue how brutal those weight cuts are until you watch someone go through it. It's like, and in person, Sona watched for the first time. Yeah, it's like, like we're just cooking this kid, fuck? killing him. Cooking me like a little chicken, dude. Just in my heating blanket, just like. You and then, sometimes at the, oh, like I have, I close my eyes, just follow my breath. Sometimes I just count, like, to, I'll count for a minute, count for a minute, count for a minute. But I have to open my eyes in like a panic to make sure I'm like, all right, we're still here. Everyone's like, still in reality. It's fucking scary. It's the closest thing to giving birth I feel like I'll ever go through. Bro. It's and still like, probably not as bad. It's nice, though. It's really nice knowing and having the peace of mind, though, in your journal, all what you yeah. weighed, knowing that knowing it's going to come off, not like, I pray this comes off. Having Dan Garner there is a fucking cheat code, dude. It has been so nice having him there. Just... Just being able to, I mean, I guess I could always text him. Having him there is really nice, too. Fucking Dan the man, big dick Dan Garner. But, uh, yeah, just asking him all these questions. Hey, should I have this, should I have that, blah, blah, blah. That was the best my gut had ever felt going into a fight. No real acid reflex. Stomach just felt good, which is something people don't even think about. Like, your stomach gets fucked up doing that shrinking and then trying to put that weight back on. It's fucking horrible for you, probably. But I also think it's not that I think the dehydrating part for a few hours is bad. The dieting like that, it's almost like fasting. It's probably pretty good for you just to do once a couple, or a couple times a month. Well, you were talking about it just like, I mean, this time it just seemed like you did such a good job and not let letting your uh, cravings just overload you after weigh-ins. Yeah, and just all. off your gut, then feel like crap, and then like start having diarrhea and just feeling like shit. You did it good. That was the best job I've done rehydrating. But I was when I was cutting weight, I was just like, I knew this fight was going to be a war. Like, we knew this fight was going to be a fucking war. It was either that or I was going to put his lights out and we, you know, we figured he might not go out. But uh, just cut weight, laying under those blankets for like 15, 20 minutes. Like, this is literally 
the same mental muscle you use that you that I have to use Saturday night to fight. I have to. It's just another war. Being able to calm your breath, calm your body, your heart rate's fucking high from just heating up, and it's just the same. It's the same muscle, so I just use it as like a pre-war almost. Yeah, that, I mean that was sweet, and then just like having that little bit of steak and be like it's gassy, but having the discipline, like I'm not gonna just stuff yeah. it in. I'm gonna change switch it. to chicken. Chicken made me feel way better. That was nice. I just all those little tiny things added up, though. That's why you were able to push five rounds so hard like that. Yeah, hundred percent. Ooh, that shit was lit, boy. We're on our way back. Are you pumped to get back to the gym? Oh, my God, dude. I'm pumped to get back to my poodles. Yeah. Pumped to get back to the gym. Pumped to get back to training myself a little bit. Back to getting my good coffees. Oh, uh, talk to me about that shit, boy. Woo. Yes. Good creamy coffee and cold punch hot tub tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a fat recovery session. Schmitty's going to hopefully pick us up. I'm pretty sure I text him. Um... Yeah, so the gym, they had a fat party. There had to been I know, like, over a hundred people there. Like it was sweet. Garrett's boy did a f- nice quality video of the fight reaction. I cannot wait to see that shit. Colt, Colt, I'm Hell pumped yeah. to see that. Back to work tomorrow. Let's get hit some sparring. Holy smokes! Uh, I wouldn't no. mind getting a little COD session in tomorrow. Probably won't play with you guys. You guys are in ranked right now, so I'll play. Yeah, I'm addicted to rank right now. But Sir Gimme's not going to be there. Uh-huh. I think he's still in Miami. Sir, Sir, give me had a cute little chick too. That was that blonde. She that was his girl. Yeah, she was hot as fuck. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, give me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's. I didn't know it was his girl. It's a compliment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Miami is just a different fucking world, isn't it? Spanish. It's so weird. It's like primarily Spanish. It seems fake like butts. It seems like well, maybe at these health food stores and stuff that we were at. But it seemed like eight out of ten people were hot chicks, which was bad. Yeah, it's got a crazy ratio. I wonder why they all go there. Uh, what was a really cool time that we had this week was going to that Versace mansion. Yeah, the Versace mansion was cool. I didn't watch the vi- the uh, series, but it was still a fucking dope place. That bed was two king size beds in one. That was unlike like any house we'll probably ever see. Yeah, that was crazy. I mean, it's obviously not... That's not just how it was. Did they make it more into a hotel? Like, an, obviously, like the pool area, the kitchen. Or was that just his house? I don't know. How much different could it have been? Yeah. I feel like it was mostly his house, but they made it, obviously, into a hotel. Yeah. But still, all, I asked the guy about the tiles and all that decorate. He said it's all original. Yeah. So that dude was just a... And that guy was a... Uh, that guy was gay. I guess he was, right? Damn, and they were saying there was crazy stories that happened in there. I can imagine just butt fucking. Well, his boyfriend, his boyfriend worked at the Versace mansion. The one you kissed? And said, yeah. And they said, boy, do I have some stories. Boy, do I have some poop on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I too. Yeah, seriously. I hadn't smoked weed in like probably three, four weeks. Took a couple puffs out that mighty fucking... Hey, marijuana makes you feel good when you need it. It makes you feel good when you don't, but when you really need it, that shit's magical. Shit get my dick off for real. Yeah, yeah. Did um, bust for eight days. Damn. Yeah. Were you battling it? We at one point when you woke up, you said you had. I almost had a wet dream. That would really? be bad. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it would. I was like, "Fuck, that would have been bad," but I didn't. Uh. Eight not days, too, though. That's some good discipline. Yeah, but you're not too horned up fight weeks. Mostly, like, if you get bored, like, you're just like, ah, oh, I'll just fucking flick yeah. my pickle. Yeah, but you know it was you were just getting charged up. Yeah, I was just saving that fucking semen. Saving that chi for Saturday night. I hate fighting on East Coast, bro. That shit's so whack. 12.30. Like, let me fight at 10 p.m. That's a fire time. Fighting on Sunday morning the last two times. Bro, I thought I thought we did a good job though. We yeah, it was we, perfect. You know, right when you said you were gonna take a night, right, to go back to bed around five forty five. I was like, oh, good, because I'm like, this. If we sat here till now, that's a long Ooh. fucking wait. No, I was able to just go kind of watch my show, turn it off, close my eyes, wake up, eat, do it again. It was fire. 
Yeah, that was good. That was good. Been having a heartburn today. I don't know if it was from those alcohol shots or what. But careful, my foot. Oh, you can grab it. Just careful. Probably the tequila to the gut. Fuck. That's just... I haven't even had anything too bad, but kind of craving a, like a quality donut, like a quality Krispy Kreme. That sounds kind of fire. My cravings haven't really. That's what Mariah would make from the Instagram something. A yeah. healthy donut. Or your cinnamon rolls. Oh. Ooh. I haven't, I don't, it's, I do crave a lot of Mariah's shit when I fucking, like those cinnamon rolls or that pizza. Yeah. That shit. Oh, or one of those shishootery boards you guys been making. Oh, one of those big shishootery boards. Yeah, that shit's hard. These burgers and everything. Elena was with us a lot this week, more than usual weeks, and she seemed like she did really good. Yeah, I was so glad having her come down. Like, not seeing her for fucking five, six, seven days seems like. Yeah. Even not seeing her for like a day and a half, and I see her, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, your face has changed. You're getting. You're becoming Elena, the girl, a big girl. And just becoming smart. It's so funny. Yeah, she. It was so funny because we. She kept calling him, uh, like Miami. She'd say it's your Amy, because I kept telling her like, you want to go to Miami, and in her mind she's hearing it as my Amy. So she's like, I want to go to Daddy's Amy. I want to go to your Amy. And I didn't realize it for a while, and then I'm like, oh Miami. And now she said, no, it's Miami. <laughs> she's funny as fuck. That was the first time uh, being at a beach like that with, like, clear water like that. That was nice. That was, that was like a pool of water, and it's this huge beach. Nice waves. The water was literally perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good amount of sun, too. We didn't overdo the sun. Uh, yeah, that was nuts. What else? We yeah, got imagine on? if old Waddell right down the road had a beach like that. Oh, my God. I'm trying to make so much money I fucking make one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Check my butt. Yeah. Waddell Ocean. Waddell Ocean. That'd be fire. Yeah, it's still, it's yeah, still good. Uh, That's some sourdough bread with some eggs and toast and avocado, runny egg for my chickens. Yeah. Oh. Shout out Helena Gang Gang. Uh, Is pink shorts yet? Oh, the pink shorts. Holy shit. Watching that back. Just having them in my back locker room when they brought them in. I'm like, fuck, this is <laughs> in Miami. My hair is pink and blue. Like, that was crazy. It was cr- the lights when I walked out were pink and blue. It was crazy for me, too, because I was like, I started becoming a real fan of UFC when they do like UFC Ortiz versus Liddell. Like it would be the name. Uh, see, not. Oh yeah. 290. And seeing it's your, you versus Cheeto main event is, was fucking just. Oh, Bali Vera too. God, just the way that first one played out, made this whole thing come together. It just fucking be so perfect. Yep. Did we already talk about that. I'm high. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was good at Brandon tank, Ezra, Sono, Garrett, Emron, you. It's like the team just slowly. It literally just used to be me and you. Bro, the the team, it's like every time I hang out with Brandon, I truly feel like I get better from it. Yeah. And learn something. Same thing with Takino. I always learn kind of something. He's such a smart guy. His outlook on everything is so smart. And the same with Imran when it Fuck comes yeah. to business and like number stuff. So it's like our whole group are such smarter people than us that we get to learn from. That is crazy. It's such a funny group looking at it from like, I just look like a fucking complete goofball. And then these guys are just three very stoic, like yeah. wise men. And I'm just this <laughs> character. <laughs> right. Uh, it is For funny. Real. For real. Yeah, think, three wise men. I think they have fun though, because when they're hanging out with guys, it's just like we don't, we don't really give a fuck and just yeah. have a good time. I yeah. think they have a good time. It's a nice change up of life, just pace of the routine too. Yeah. I feel bad because like Sundays going out there for six days is a long time, but uh, yeah, I think they enjoy it. They they get to eat good food and it's like a little paid vacation, chillax. Yeah. And uh, Ezra got some good training with Uriah Faber. Yep. Tank wasn't training much because his knee hurt, but Ezra was putting the tune on Uriah Faber, getting some grappling, so that was good. Yeah, that's badass. Ezra likes to fucking shadow box. Some motherfucker will work out, shadow box all day. He will do. It's funny. He reminds me of me when I first moved to the lab. Like, just wanting to get in a session. Just wanting to get in a session. Just train, yep. shadow box. 
if I can, run if I can. It's funny. He even uh, he even's obsessed with it. Where like he just will watch grappling all day, watch boxing, just like fuck, obsessed dude. with it. That's how you get good, right there. Just loving it like that, a hundred percent. Yeah. Did some would you rather's? Oh yeah, that's as good as the would you would rather's. rather's. The jet ride there was so fun. We played Farkle for a few hours. That was funny. Ezra, Ezra won both. Yeah, back to back Farkle champion. Yeah, that pissed me off. I was, <laughs> yeah. I was out in the lead in the first game, so that kind of sucked. But it's gonna be sweet looking back, having all this footage Garrett has on all these trips. Dude, I literally was thinking about that when we were driving home, uh, or driving to the club from the arena. I'm like, all these fighters before the iPhone, before the good cameras, their whole careers are just memories in their mind, not like, oh, I can pull up this vlog and relive it. We're lucky as fuck. I know. We could already do that with the LFA fight because you were doing the phone, iPhone vlogs, too. Yeah. This quality, obviously, is just different. Holy fuck. What are you, uh, what time? We're going to get, so we landed like three. I got to go watch the fight with Schmitty. Maybe we'll just pull over to your guys' house. We'll see how we're feeling. Yeah. See if Bre Schmitty's with Brendan. Uh, uh I'm probably just going to love on my dogs. Maybe make a fat order from Instacart. Maybe make a big Damn, shrewdery. A fat Instacart order sounds fire. I just chill out. Get ready for the week. God, it's nice we're getting home early, too. Let's go. I know. We would, we literally laid down at 7.30 a.m. That's insane. That's Still so busted. fucking insane. Uh, what else? Do you what have any interactions else? with Dana? I talked to Dana and Hunter very briefly right after the fight. I feel like they're going to call me um, call me soon. Sean Shelby was just couldn't fucking believe it. Dana it like, seemed oh. to me just like, what the, like, like five it, rounds. Of, like, God, he was just like, fuck. He just yeah. made him look like shit. Oh, that awesome. documentary that was supposed to come out by, for my fight, remember? That one yeah. that we shot, but then they were pushing it back to like International Fight Week, June, July, August or some shit like that. Oh, really? So, but that should be pretty sweet. I wish they were, I guess we got our own little doc crew with us too, but that would have been a cool piece to that. Oh, yeah, I think Sean sure. Jones is going to be on it a little bit, and then Dana is going to be on it, Hunter, a little a different set, uh, episodes. I watched well, one episode, or I, I watched one episode, skimmed through an episode of Love is Blind, the one where you guys said the girl said she looked like Megan Fox. That show trips me out so why it's so crazy it's a bunch of sonos yeah it really is <laughs> it literally is a bunch of fucking sonos <laughs> bro that's just what I'm falling in love without seeing who they are just by like their voice or something like that's just crazy oh yeah i like because we didn't finish it yet all right new episodes coming out still I just fast forwarded it to like when they met in the pod, when they're on the first. Fast it. I watched like. I just wanted to see how they interacted once they found out who they were talking to, and it was so weird. And then they're. Once they proposed. Yep. And then it's, they lit. Then they have like a vacation. The love is a blind experiment. Honeymoon, and then they go and live with each other in real life. Go it's see each so other's apartments and see. Weird. Stuff. Right? Yeah, that Matt character was like, he oh just left God. once. That was fire. Those producers are so smart for just like, what do people like to watch? Okay, drama, this kind of drama. What's the easiest way we can create that heavy drama? It's like yeah. smart producers. Yeah, it is good. Uh, that was something I kind of watched a little bit. Uh, what else? What else? Chris Farley, that Saturday Night Live. I've never watched those back in the day. That shit had us laughing out loud. They dressed up as girls a lot. Yeah. I feel like we could do some funny sketch. Schmitty could be Chris Farley. <laughs> uh, Brenton could be David Spade. <laughs> I could be Adam Sandler. You could be Oprah. <laughs> Uh, what else? I got a fire new robe. Yeah, went to Versace. Earned it. Went to Versace. Got some gold shoes. Those are cool. They're weird, but cool. Um, 
Take one more rip. See what comes to mind. All right, let me see what comes to mind, fellas. The jet, bro. And I woke up, and I was like, we don't have to go to that airport. That it's was like, magical. Oh, hi. The jet is... I know, because I, I was even debating. I'm like, fuck, should I get another... Should I get a jet for this fight? They're so fucking goddamn expensive, but... They're so worth it. Oh, it's my so God. so worth it. I could... It's Yeah. Shoot pods on it. Shit, can I have a drink of that, too? That weed gets me so dry. It's crazy. That's what they say. The vaporizers. You got to make sure to drink water. I think Paul Check said that. Paul, Ch- Paul Check also gets up at 3.30 a.m. for his morning routine. He does. He that does. was fucked. <laughs> Paul Check gets up at 3.30 a.m. on his morning routine. But then he said, still said he watches some TV at night, throws on some shows yeah. sometimes, too. What are you saying, Garrett? About Trump or something? Yeah, I gave Trump a good point. He gave me one back. We had a little fucking moment. I call it a Trump moment. Any, uh, does anybody? Oh yeah, his wife, his daughter. Yep. She looked like a princess, like a like a. This Donald Trump would have a hot daughter like that. She's not just hot. She was like a princess. Isn't his wife pretty hot too? That was crazy. I was like, what the fuck? Who's Trump fucking? Yeah, it she turns got, out he's not. Oh no, maybe she has came to the fights before, but. When the Secret Service comes, how many more people? I think 90 tickets. 90 tickets. So they, they sell these 90 tickets or give them away to some people, and then they have to take them away from 90 people when they find out Trump's come. Yeah, but they probably know now. Like They probably know if it's in Miami, don't give away an extra 90, save Trump. Yeah. But, yeah, that's crazy. Imagine being a Trump everywhere you go, you're Trump. Was there any other eye contact that stuck out to you, like, no, actually not not any really. I was just fucking Did you really I didn't see any of those guys. I didn't see Rust. Uh did anybody did any like how loud the crowd was stick out to you at all at any moment? Um uh, I feel like Boston stuck out more, like it was louder. It would it sounded just more of like an eruption in Boston compared to this one was like they there was a loud pop for the Ecuadorian. Yeah, I would. I heard the Cheeto chants, the Sean chants. It's the same people saying that too. <laughs> That's what made the energy kind of like cool. Yeah, one. I was about. I just made weight, or I did. When I'm at the fighter hotel, I just want to go to where I'm going and go upstairs. I don't want to be bothered. I had a fucking busy week. I'm low on calories. I just want to go. These kids were like, "Sugar, let me take a pic. Let me take a pic." And I just kind of kept walking into my elevator. And then, like, two seconds later, Cheeto and two, fuck you, pussy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's so funny. How, those are the same fans that cheer for me. That, but some of them, the fucking sugar fans, they're out and about. You see them with their fucking pink wigs and shit. And their, mer- and their merch. Their they merch. Stick out. Oh, yeah. The, the sugar fans stick out. But MMA fans are funny, bro. The Boston one, I think, was so loud just because everyone wanted you to win and you were such a big underdog. Like it's yeah, and so it was like oh, like that fucking explosion. That was magic. Yeah, I feel like that was a magical moment in Boston. I, I loved watching it right before we walked to fight Cheeto. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Just to remind you what the fuck you're capable of. Yeah, yeah, it's so crazy because when I picture me versus Cheeto, that's literally how I picture it playing out. If I show up, if I show up and do what I know I can do, that's how that fight turns out. And I knew that would happen. Just showing up in that moment is just so fucking important. Well, and your body was conditioned for 25 minutes at that yeah. pace. Your legs, your ankles, your heart, your your mind was prepared yeah. for that 25 minutes of focus. And it fucking showed. Bro. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't do everything right, that fight might not, I might have not have been able to do what I did. But everything was right. Everything was crossed off, off, off the checklist. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's crazy. What's next? What's next? Oh, it's like I'm gonna retire, pussies. Peace. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Uh, oh yeah, Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. We watched that the night before Friday. Holy, I was, I'm like, yeah, I think uh, Francis could, could. I was taking Francis. Anthony Joshua made him not look like he belonged in there. I I didn't watch a. I haven't watched enough of Anthony Joshua Me to neither. make a pick. I would just be basing it off looks. Yeah. Uh, but dude, 
man, it's crazy the style differences. Yeah. And Tyson Fury, how he couldn't find Francis with that right hand, and Joshua found it early. Three times. Sat him down three times. I think after that second one, Francis was not there. Yeah, that right hand, he stepped with that last one was so fucking beautiful. That uh, was nasty. I didn't think a, that big of a man like that could get dropped like that. Jesus. It was folded backwards like that. Oh, God. Rumor has it he made 20 mil. 20 mil? Anthony Joshua, 50. Sheesh. It's so weird because that whole card, like how big of a production it is, how big of everything it is, like, the co-mates suck. I didn't, I mean, we didn't watch any of the other fights. But well, you like, feel bad for the, the people that, well, because it was 3.30 a.m. there when the fight happened, supposedly. Yeah. Those people were like, like, oh, my God. I know. It's like, show up at 3, but still, like, what are you going to do till then? UFC's just got it down. They, they know how to promote the people. They know how to build the prelims up. UFC just got it down. It's literally fucking just Dana. Yeah, Dana's the fuck. And all his experience throughout all those years, dude. Yeah. Dana Hunter and Sean Mick, those guys fucking got it down to a science. God damn, it, I know. It's so weird now, like, because looking back when I think we were fighting uh, Eddie Wineland, maybe. Yeah, uh, water. Maybe it was. Yeah. Uh, How we were, uh, I'll grab it. How we were watching, like, the Nelk Boys, and Dana, we didn't know them at all. Gee, oh, yeah, I was thinking about that. That trip oh, that hurts so bad. My finger's purple. There. That trip, uh, huh? You know what? Oh, it's finger. We'll share it. That trip that I decided to go to right after I knocked out Mintino. Yeah. Where I'm like, let's just go. It'll be a good business trip. We'll get contacts. And, like, that was the first time we hung out with Nelk and Steve and how everything just pl- Wait, turned out. I barely out. remember that one. Well, after Mintino, when we met 6 9 Steve for the first oh, okay, time, okay, yeah. I was like, let's just fucking go. It was a week after the fight. Let's just do it. And uh, now with Happy Dad and have all those connects, it's fucking crazy. I feel like we've known all those guys for a minute now. I know. That is crazy. Steiny at his boo thing. And she- <laughs> Stein at his boo thing. Kyle had his, his boo thing. Yep. Boys are booed up. Jimmy's boo thing was there. Mike, man. Malak's boo thing got one too. Mike Malak has a boo thing. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Wonder when Big Bradley's going to get a boo thing. Yeah, I know. We're lucky. We're lucky to have our things. I know, for real. Uh, what else, Gary? You got any ideas? Any fucking. Coming up on time. Pretty soon. It was nice having. We're about 40. Did, did Mariah and Danny, I mean, uh, did Danny and Elena sleep? separate or did you sleep with them some of the night no i didn't sleep with danny and elena at all they slept they only stayed one night friday night i don't know saturday night you stayed you stayed two nights right babe did you I friday night. Friday night. Oh. oh yeah sorry yeah fuck am i <laughs> i stayed all every night you did a couple loads of laundry i that surprised me yeah 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 i was like i know out. he's bored when he's doing some clean i'm not laundry. bored i'm just I keep myself occupied, but I wanted to move around. Yes, I, I every every single fight camp that that Saturday, I clean, I pack, I do all that. We usually don't have a laundry, uh, washer dryer. So that's why I did the laundry, and I had a bunch of sweaty clothes. But I always that's something I do Saturdays: pack my bags, get ready to like go home. Was it tough for you to figure out where to put the detergent, or was that pretty self-explanatory? I knew where to put it. <laughs> I do a few loads of laundry here and there. I'm more of like, I'm more of a washer guy than like dryer guy. Yeah, like I load that bitch all day, bro. <laughs> shit, figuring out the dryer. Yep. Yeah, the power. I fucking, I'm, I'm a grown ass man. Uh, yeah, fucking day of the Lord Sunday. It really is. My mom and dad had some good drama. Won't get into that. We can giggle about that after. Got a good bonus. Got a fucking... What was how that? Many, my how many bonus? Ninth bonus. Ninth bonus. Yeah, that is crazy. 450 racks and bonuses. God, it's crazy. You can just like... 
you can have a style to where you're just probably never going to get a bonus or you can have a style where it's like I'm made for bonuses. Yeah, for real. That's just kind of, it's literally the last thing on my mind. Well, yeah. it's weird because when I first got in the UFC, it was like always on my mind. Like I need, I want to get 50 back. And now I feel like I've just gotten him so many times. I'm like, oh, that's just, it's just going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it is wild. It's crazy too the small cage versus the big cage. Uh, how much better the big cage is. Like fuck the I fought three times at the Apex cage back to back to back and then the rest were the big cage but bro well from doing all the sparring at at, at the gym there yeah. and then getting in there and then you feel how fast your feet feel on that yeah. canvas and you have all this space it's like she so weird it happening. I was telling you I'm like winning feels good. But if I would have lost to Cheeto, I feel like the first one didn't sting because I didn't feel like I lost really. But if I would like lost normal, whatever, I just feel like I would be on this jet. You I would accept it, bit. but I would it would just feel like it would sting. I'd be like, oh, oh bro, oh. it would. God, it's like, is it, it even worth it? I might just retire <laughs> on top. Uh. But I'm like, yeah, winning feels good. But it's more of a relief than anything. It's just like, oh, it's over. Bro, such a fucking relief. I always do remind myself all a lot, for a lot, especially fight weeks, like, I get to be here. I get to do this. I don't have to. I can literally not do this if I wanted to. But I get to, and I just try to put that into perspective. Like, fuck. Because you get these feelings, like, why do I do this shit? It's just so much but then it's like it's getting to but be you're here. the only one you get to watch all these videos back of you fighting but you're the only one who saw it from your angle yeah it's, it's a fucking weird badass it's gonna be crazy Elena just like she didn't she doesn't really still know what's going on but she's like she understands she took a flight to Miami because daddy had to work and then she's I have some boo-boos on my face it's gonna be so weird she's, she's getting used to planes with tables and, and bands oh with yeah tables. that's not good <laughs> but She's getting bougie for real. She got in one of the sprinter buses and there wasn't a table. She said, not a table and threw her chips. Yeah. She's <laughs> sassy, bro. Uh, That's crazy. She wants a baby brother so bad or baby sister. Bro, it'll be so good to teach her how to take care of animals and stuff, though, and have that be her. her, her yeah. Thing. She loves going to look for eggs as long as they don't poop on them. She'll grab them. Get her maybe a little pony, Hamra. Once you guys are out there, oh my god! Yeah, she will. Yeah, she will. Cause we could get a mini, mini one, huh? I'm trying to, dude. I'm gonna right when I land. I'm texting that guy. Say, yo, five acres are nothing, bud. No, no, but because now it's just two and a half. Like five just seems just better. Order that if that two and a half though. If you that would work. Yeah, that would work for sure. And just figure out what exactly you want to do with the zoning. What what I know, that's the that's a it's fun to think about that. It's tricky, it's like it's important. I'm gonna have you, Trey help me. Yeah, that one kid who's passionate about it. Trey, he knows, yeah. But I'm pumped to kind of fix up my warehouse, get the lights in there, I gotta get the plumbing done, electric done. I gotta still I gotta take down that parking car garage or that garage on the other side with that part board over it. I have to take it down before they'll write off on the permit on my warehouse. It's so stupid. Yeah. So I got to do that. But I might just take that down, put a, like a double wide out there, modular, a couple times. I don't know yet. Some fucking fire. That'll be fun building out that little warehouse. Yeah, yeah, the weight yeah. room and everything. God, is UFC 300 the next big? Is there any good fight nights coming up? I feel like that's, what is that, April 12th? Uh, that's like a while, right? That's crazy. That's a month. That is crazy. That sucks. Uh, but then Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. But that's end of April, right? I think that's... Is it in July? Oh, April. Yeah, that's late. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, we didn't even talk about that. That's a... Uh, dude, I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. Jake Paul, very, 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 very... July 20th. Well, knocks Mike Tyson out cold. He's fifty seven. I know. I, I want to want to rewatch when Roy Jones fought Mike Tyson and how that looked. That was like two years ago, even. Yeah, it might have been more than that. Yeah. 
Mine, Lincoln. Yours dead or good? Mine's uh, uh good. But dude, I just don't know. Is with Mike Tyson's walk around with that cane, is it that his back real? that's so bad? Because if his back's that bad, he's not gonna be able to train that hard. And he has a chance in the first couple of minutes to knock Jake out, but he might gas out. Yeah. He's that old. He can't train. And they're probably going to get tested. But if he could, they'd let him get on the sauce a bit, let him fucking, that would be more, way more Live interesting. on Netflix. If Jake came out and said, Mike Tyson, do whatever the fuck you want, that would be way more interesting. That yeah, would be fire. Live on Netflix, free for everyone to watch on Netflix, right? I think so. That's, That's crazy. Huge. They have like 260 million subscribers. I wonder if like how that came about. Right, Jake? Jake's Jake and Jake's team just like wanted to do they, big fucking things. And they had some contacts and they just proposed an idea. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I wonder how it came about too. That's crazy. Mike Tyson is fighting in 2024. Bro, That's hey, fucked I'm up. I'm worried it might be real sad. I feel like it's kind of a lose-lose for Jake. Um, a lot of people watch it, though. Yeah. I wonder what kind of bag he's getting for that. Yeah, I wonder. God, that's going to be crazy. What else we got? I mean, you will, uh, UFC 300. Jamal, off, just off the top, Jamal Hill versus Alex Pajeda. I guess Jamal Hill's coming back pretty quickish from a Achilles tear. And he's fighting Alex Pajeda, who's going to kick the fuck out of his legs. Or try to. I mean, that's what everyone said Cheeto's going to try to do. That's what I'm curious. Because Jamal Hill's southpaw, I wonder if it's his back leg or his front leg. That'll make a big difference. Still, you, yeah, it will. The back leg, though, that's the one you got to drive off of. The front leg, that's the one you're going to get calf kicked. So it's like, yeah. either sucks. Yeah. Curious how that plays out. Oh, my God. I'm sore. Um Max Holloway versus Justin Gaethje. That's an exciting fucking fight. I'm there for it. I love it. Dude, I was telling I, I was telling Sono, I'm like, the size different difference isn't going to be as much as people think. Like, Max Holloway, we've seen him yeah. out of shape. He's walking around 185, 190 at times. Yeah, he's big. That's, That's just crazy. as big as Gaethje is probably. Yeah, I agree. And almost, I think, similar heights. Uh, Did they switch uh, Bo Nickel? From the prelims to the main card, and then drop uh Al uh little oh, fuck him high, Aljo versus Cater to the prelims. What I'm seeing, yes, <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. Who I else? Think, I personally, I think Aljo and Cater should be on the main card. And why not put Bo Nickel on the main event prelims? Give it yeah. some. I mean, I don't think it really fucking matters at the end of the day. Like. I don't think it does either because don't they try to make the main event on the prelims always a banger? Yeah. And that, that fight's just going to be sweet. Like, what's going to happen? Like, you're not going to get paid more if you're on the main event or the prelims anyway. You're going to get paid to get paid. So it doesn't really matter, but it is crazy to think about. You get done earlier. Yeah. Oh, I always like, if I wasn't main event, I was like, fuck, put me, I don't care where you put me. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm interested to see Aljo at 45. Yeah. I'm me so too. interested. I think he'll probably. Do good. Against Cater, though? I think he might do good against Cater, dude. Be able to get to him? Might be able to get to his legs. Yeah. Over and over in funky ways. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Who else we got on that one? The co-main was Wei Li versus... You know that one, right? Oh, yeah, Charles versus Armin Tusukian. That's a, a fucking a little gem. Bro, that is guaranteed to be a sick Yeah, one. Charles the man. Uh, Who else we got? Versus Alexander Rakic. Yeah, deep, I guess. Okay, who else? Those are big, big ass, huge dudes. It'll be probably sweet. Davidson Figueroa versus Oh yeah, that's opening up, right? Opening up the early prelims, right? Check. Yeah, like the first fight of the night. Looks like it. That's pretty cool. That's a big fucking fight. I mean, that's a sweet one. I'll be fun to watch it. Yeah. Another one people are interested in uh, is Kayla Harrison. Oh, yeah, is she making 35? No way, right? She's a big chick. She was backstage. Bantamweight? Yeah, she was big. I don't know if she's going to make that. Fighting uh, Holly Holm, too. Like, is she going to be able to get a hold of Holly Holm? How old is Holly Holm by now, though? 41? No way. 42. 42? 
Fuck. Oh, uh, they just set him up. Bada bing, bada boom. Holly uh, Holm and her prime would probably beat up Kayla Harris. I'm hard to he get a hold of. Just cannot get a hold of. Athletic. Yeah. She, yeah, I'm curious to see how she'll look. Fuck. That's life, man. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, G. Crazy shit. I'm Dude, pumped. how sweet are these mics, though? They these roads? They can plug into an iPhone. They can plug into, like, these are sweet. Yeah, a little, little jet pod for the fellas. Yeah, just because. Just because. A little instant react. Are you really going to try to stay away from, tr try it. Stay away from just bunch of shit. Bunch of what? If you just do, if, if the carbs that you do is sourdough. Oh, yeah. Eats, I'm going to try to fucking, I don't really have too crazy of cravings, but I know when you let yourself go a little bit, you take your blood sugar, and you're just like, okay. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. If it does, it does. But I'm going to really try to just eat better or sooner. I always end up eat good again, but it's like, yeah, maybe a couple Krispy Kremes, a little beefy five layer. Yeah. Big sausage on the side. Crunch wrap Supremes. Crunch wrap Supremes. Maybe get it out of my system for a couple of weeks, but no, I haven't had that. In and out, I'm definitely going to have at some point. Um, yeah, that, that was fun. That club was crazy. 11, there was like strippers, but they weren't naked. It so was they, hot. Because they, they, what, they bring you 5K in ones? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, that was fun, huh? Just throwing out ones like that. That was fun. Something about tossing them ones out of part of a song and it just sprinkles down. There was chicks that were just looking to lock eyes. Like, oh, they wanted to fuck. Oh, yeah. You know, that's like, I that's feel rare. like. Yeah, you know, that was, that must be Miami. That was, shit was, those girls were horny. Yeah. They were horny. I think they just liked the old red, though. No, I was laying low. My Achilles felt like it was going to blow off my ankle. I'm wearing fucking tight pink shorts. Blood on my leg. <laughs> yeah. And a boot on your foot. My boot on my foot, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. I wish we were on a fucking American airline. Shooting our pod. <laughs> An American. <laughs> yeah, Garrett's in the middle of the aisle. Yeah, eight thawie. Um... Shit, brother. Let me think. <laughs> yeah, lose five in a row. We're on the American way in the back. Fuck it. Still doing hey, it. Still got that good paycheck, boy. God, it's so crazy. You just never know when when your flat when your last fight's gonna well, you sometimes do, but when a fight could be your last. Right. Your or your last win. That shit's crazy. Fucking crazy. But uh yeah, Corey Umar sounds like it's probably gonna get rebooked. They both are calling for that. I think Peter was, or Umar was calling out Peter or Peter or Corey. Both interesting fights. Kyler's got to get a good big fight soon. Mario's probably going to get a big fight soon. Marcus. Mar Mario's in the top 15? I think so. Kyler, probably Kyler will probably be uh, bus top 15 after Pedro. I wonder if he'll swap places or what will happen. It'll be interesting to see the rankings on Tuesday. Yeah, For yeah sure. that's going to be. Marcus should be getting up at least maybe one more fight top 15 bro just having those guys to train with a bit too is such a hack yeah like marcus his skills compared to like marcus is such a good partner dude yeah marcus is probably one of the best partners and then kyler coming into the grappling is nice and just having taquino in there so Fucking, nice bro. yeah the community is just we got the best vibes Literally. Just fucking. And you got the coffee shop right there. The, even with adds to the vibes. The that, that had it do it big time. Even if yeah. it, like, so, I mean, one day it will be a money maker. But even if it's not, it just makes the vibes sweet. Yeah. And you get fucking your fat friend Schmidt a job. Yep, yep. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Schmidt's, look, Schmidt's picking us up and he better not fuck up my van. <laughs> he, bro, did you watch his vlog when he's dropping us off? Ooh. He missed the exit. The first like, he's talking to his phone. We're giving Sean a ride, Joe Bits. He trusted me with a mission. And then you hear me go, Shmini, where the fuck are you going? And he's like, and he missed the first exit. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but it was funny as fuck. Bro, you know, you know what we need to do is that Saturday, go to get that signature sandwich every week. That is a fun trip with the Sprinter. Yeah. yeah. Underbelly that meat. little coat. coffee. They come out with a local, local sandwich. One sandwich per week. Fire. Then that coffee joint right there. Yeah. 
I cannot wait to make myself a coffee. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be absolutely incredible. What else we got, man? What do we have for time, even? It's money. Money, money, honey. Uh, uh, welcome to subscribers. Yeah. Uh, hit the like button, comment below, and then check out the new um, the know. Sugar Arrow Remains merch. Sugarshop.co. It's actually really sweet. So, all right, boys and girls, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.